though. Still lots of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Pupcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Strawberry. Morning, Blueberry. <laughs> Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that would be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry betty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. 
<sighs> I'll help you, Barry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Can Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on Willow. I'll take Willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay. But if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay. Bring it in! <gasps> <laughs> now, Custard, <laughs> this is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? Okay? Well, sure. 
Problem solved. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Nope, it's been quiet here too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. <laughs> Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. <laughs> Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, you, I hate you. Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Me, 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 me. Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Excuse me, those are for produce only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a water coloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Would you like me 
too. Oh no, no problem. I, I can handle it. Quick, wrangle those radishes. Catch, Blueberry. Thanks. Great, more crates. Why are we whispering? Because if Orange finds out we're helping, she'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, Mom thinks she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? How fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm... So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem, anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! Girls, come back! Oh, I need your help! Hey! When you're done there, get over to that sidewall. Good morning, Barry Kinville. Good morning, Strawberry, and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Wow! 
I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks. My next crop of very bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No Consider problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Barry Kim Bloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm. I'll round up the girls, see if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. Dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> Come on, custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom custard? Huh? Oh, you're right. There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh. I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no. What? Uh, what? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flapjacks? We've got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you... You closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You... You did that for me? Of course! Oh, we want to help! Me too. That's Very what friends are for! You. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes! What can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure. Um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah. You want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls. Let's get going. <laughs> Great! Blooming butter beans! You 
aren't supposed to be ripe yet. I told Strawberry two weeks. Oh, no, no. The marketplace isn't ready yet. There's no place to put all of you until it's finished. What will I do? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide this stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to read. I'll find a place. Hey, I'm hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay, so we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? Brilliant! Brilliant. Great idea. Perfect. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Terrific. Well, then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. As long as it has a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still just hearing things. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh well. If life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things. Now I'm seeing things. <laughs> uh, onions? Uh, how'd these get in there? of humorous short stories, fiction, by Patsy Von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It 
means difficult to handle. Maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity. Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity. I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it. The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait, I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange aura room fragrance. She said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer. Hey, there's orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, Lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> Nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh, no. What have we done? Ugh. It's getting a little powerful in here. Let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate. Give it a chance to unscent. Let me out of here. Yeah. Hi, Barrican Bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Barry and Bill, I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Barry Betty Buildings Digest for their Best Built Bidding Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe-in. The Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. That's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Kiwi fruit, none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow and you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow! It's almost all done. Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down, Berry. Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> Just love it! Wow, it's, uh, incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. <laughs> and I love having a book. I mean, lots of books right by the bed. And what a great vanity. 
I never would have thought of that. <sighs> well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. <laughs> oh, what an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Uh, but, but which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite... Uh, refreshing. Kiwi? Hmm. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem. We can now? <gasps> Colliding kiwis. We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow. We're on it. Now let's get a move on. Clean up these kiwis. We're going to have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrikin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrikin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Berrikin Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweet enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm, I better call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. Mm hmm. I didn't tell you before what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely. It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. Oh, I really am. Uh, we forgot something. Oh, uh, another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh. Strawberry scent. Oh, <laughs> perfect. 
A place to put down your ideas for the Marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> oh, muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. Ah, uh, mud pies. Okay, tell me again what you saw, but slower this time. Okay, so uh, there we were, weren't we? And a routine irrigation check. Bouncing boysenberries. Looks like we got a loose ripple lock. Uh, hey, what's wrong, Earl? Heard something funny, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Something lollop me. <laughs> so, you see, Miss Strawberry, we definitely have a monster in the berry patch. With seven noses? Yeah. And, and it lollops. <gasps> lollops? Well, Miss Cherry, uh, uh, sort of, kind of... Licks in a slobbery sort of way. Oh, how unbecoming. What's going on, Strawberry? Monster in the berry patch. Scary berries! So, what do we do? I guess we go meet it. Huh? <laughs> don't see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like... Dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs... and... A boy? <gasps> Hello? Oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who... Well, where'd you come from? Berry Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. Ed. <laughs> I'm Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. <laughs> Yourselves. <laughs> so mad, so sweet, so fancy. Puppies! So adorable! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Come back! Is this how guests behave? <sighs> You're so lucky to have so many pets! Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well, uh, nobody's. <gasps> so, you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile, getting dogs adopted. Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. Aww. That is quite admirable. Hey, Mr. Huckleberry! Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. All fixed up! Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry, Cherry, and your friends, too. Well, I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, that's really nice of you, Strawberry. <laughs> Looks like they feel right at home. Well, I hope you do too. Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my guys.
your breakfast before lunch? Oh, uh, could we make it dinner? Uh, is this part of my bed sheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, need some more trash bags? Huh? Nice leashes, Raspberry. Oh, thanks. I kind of thought they were sort of rather stylish in a pinch. Thank you for walking them. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking we could each host a dog. That way you wouldn't have to watch over all seven at once. Great idea, Orange. We can each teach our guests some doggy manners. That's so generous of you. Well, they are all so cute. <gasps> he slipped out of his leash. Guess I'll host you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I haven't named them yet, so be my guest. I think I'll call you Biscuit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, you are gonna look very, very glamorous. Your fur's a bit too short for a bow. Well, I guess you look just like you did when I met you, which is very glamorous. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and hit your mark right here, see? Okay, now you try. Come on, boy. Ah, oh, almost. Try again and you'll get a treat. Oh. The waltz part comes later. <sighs> well, at least you hit your mark. Hi! Yeah. Uh, 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 huh? And we came to help. You name it. And we'll do it. Uh, uh, Ooh, got a pretty chewed up chair here. We'll take it to the shop and give it a good power sanding. Oh, I can do it. I love sanding and, yeah, uh, machine stuff. I really miss carpentering and, uh, you know, machining. <laughs> Oh, hi, uh, Blueberry. Sorry, Plum, didn't mean to interrupt your, uh... It's okay. This is my Let Your Inner Music Move You class. That's my favorite. Moving to musical innards. <laughs> inner music? Yeah, I love that too. You do? That's great. Then join us. Okay, hit me with the beat. Uh, this is Move to Your Inner Music. So just... Close your eyes, get quiet and peaceful. Listen to the harmony of your feelings, the bliss of your brain waves, and then go with it. Strawberry. 
Wow, your pets really like Biscuit. Fit right in from the start. How's my bedroom makeover undo coming along? Oh, great. Just waiting for the Berrykins to build me another chip. I mean, fix. Uh, touch up. Uh, shouldn't be long now. Hold tight. Almost done with these muffins. Hey, can I help? Cooking's my favorite. Muffins are my specialty. That would be a very big help. Can you put these in the oven for me while I finish this batter? Piece of cake. <laughs> uh. Oh. Hi. Are you okay, Cherry? It sounded like you were crying. Oh, <laughs> that was him. We were trying to teach Crooner to sing, but it's not coming naturally. <laughs> Singing? Hey, that's my favorite. Sweet. You can take Crooner's part. Very best friends forever. Together. Oh, uh, just warming up my throat. Huck, why don't you take the next chorus on your own? Oh, uh, sure. Hope, sweet home, where memories are made and berries are grown. Yeah. Home, sweet home. A place you can always call your own. Divine! That dog can sing! Biscuit, I thought you were staying with Strawberry. He's sure welcome to stay with me and Crooner. So, uh, Huckleberry, why don't we start with some simple notes, just to warm up your voice? Uh, think I got a tickle in my throat. I'll catch you later. Okay, feel better. For someone who loves to sing, he sure doesn't love to sing. Hi, Orange. Raspberry. What's the hurry? Hair appointment at Lemon Salon. Can't wait to get the new hairdo, the Curlpacious Crescent Quaff. Oh, yeah. I've been dying to get that one, too. Huh? You? Are you sure? Bring it on. Can't wait. You look at that! Do you want a manicure, Poochie? <laughs> Lemon, you are an artist. Oh, I absolutely. Oh, I love it. Just me. Huckleberry? What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, hiding from what? The whole Berry Bitty world. How come? <laughs> you didn't let Lemon talk you into that, did you? I'm afraid I talked her into it. Kind of like you talked us into letting you join our dance class? Come out of there. All you need is a little water. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have a warm setting on this hose. Oh, okay. Cold! Cold! <laughs> Blueberry, you saved me. Mmm, ginger tea. My favorite. Is it really? Or are you just saying that? 
I, uh, well, one of my favorites. Why would you say something was your favorite if it isn't? I mean, favorite usually means one only. I guess I thought everyone would, you know, like me better. You've all been so nice to me here, I just wanted to fit in. Aha! I think I'm getting the better of this mystery before it betters me! Hey, that's what Patty Persimmon always says. Patty Persimmon! She's my favorite mystery character! Really? Mine too! Huckleberry, you've got to stop saying you like things just so people will like you. No, really. I like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Okay. Where is Patty Persimmon from? Berry Bitty Glade. But in The Secret of the Feathered Fish, we learned she was really born in Cricket Crossing and then moved to Berry Bitty Glade. You're right. Okay. <laughs> What's her middle name? Middle name, you say? Mm-hmm. Ha! She doesn't have one. <gasps> You're right! Okay, okay. What is her favorite breakfast? In the mystery of the purloined parasol, it was crepes a la mode. Uh-huh. But in the creepy cabinet caper, she discovers she loves persimmon pancakes with pumpkin butter, coconut syrup, and macadamia nuts. That's right! You really do like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Like them? I collect them! I've got them all. All but the latest one, which isn't out yet. It's the Thespian Theater, Theater Thriller. Thriller! I have it! You do? It, it just now, it only just... Oh, how did you get it? You just happened to be looking at a lifetime member of the Patty Persimmon Early Edition Club. Wow. I finished it last night. <sighs> Would you let me borrow it, please? You can have a copy. Compliment to Blueberry's Bookstore. If you make me a promise, no more pretending everything is your favorite. Give Berry Bitty City a chance to like you for who you are. Then you'll be sure we like the real you. Okay, deal. Hey, I thought you were staying with Lemon. <laughs> Would you look at that? This dog can track. I think I'll call you Snipper. He fits in everywhere. I wish I had a little of what he has. Biscuit? Ah, hi, Raspberry. Oh, poor little thing. Whenever anyone comes in, she hides. Kind of shy. Hope she'd make a nice guard dog. Let me know when people need help. I don't think Coco likes his sweater. Well, it is kind of thick. And he already has a fur coat. Yeah, don't think he likes it. And he won't sit still for fittings. Hmm. Hi, Oh, morning. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Orange, I don't think your dog is shy. I think she's cold. Really? Mm-hmm. And mine is too hot in that sweater. Can I trade on your dog? Absolutely. Great idea, Raspberry. Okay, Strawberry, open them. <gasps> oh, Huckleberry, it looks beautiful. It looks like it did before my dogs got a hold of it. I hope, anyway. It does, it does. Thank you for fixing everything. Thank you for your hospitality. You are welcome in Berry Bitty City anytime. Really? Uh, after all the trouble I caused? Well, everyone makes mistakes. And don't you know how much we all like you? You do? Of course. We liked you from the start. What you're doing for the pups? I mean, who wouldn't like a person who does something so nice? <laughs> Where are all the dogs? Um, can we talk to you about that? Would it be possible for me to adopt Henna? Henna? What happened to the Dalmatian? <laughs> Doesn't Cinepop have an incredible voice? And Pitter Patch is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? <laughs> we decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? <laughs> what do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. 
Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is! I'll oh, take you with us! Come here, Come here, Come here. Come here. Come <laughs> No wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has. on a winter's night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. People were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Bellberry, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding, or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know... We might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now. And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto, instant snow. Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great. <laughs> well, let's build our snowman. <laughs>
and brings it back to their snowman scores a point. Ready, set, wait! I just realized our teams are uneven. Our team has four, you guys only have three. Hey, yeah, you're right. Well, uh, I guess I could referee. to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Very Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, uh -oh. I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't thought of any. Barricade Blue? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Very good. Should we put it to a vote? All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. Excuse me. 
but can they do that? No rule against it. Anything looks fun. can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, there it goes. No! I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! Like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe. <laughs> all their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone, too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. And it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? 
and I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, huh? Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely... correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry, and three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes! The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean, it didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 I feel yeah, hungry. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with Berry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berry sickles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really think we should. Sharing is what we should do. Oh, well, no, not I don't agree at hungry. all because no. we can run out. We have to. Idea. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, oh, all right. right. I agree. Yeah. 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 Vote, yeah. vote. Yeah. 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 Oh. This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. oh. What, 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 what will we do? Yeah. Well, what, who? Oh, no, no. Did everyone vote? Huh. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us, for the whole town? We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have, when we don't really know how long the winter will last? Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is... yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think, well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us, for the whole town. Yes, I agree. Yeah. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Take it. Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, right. Idea. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. 
Look! to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! Technology and fashion cooking show video take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtle Berry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is... a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh. Sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle berries. Uh, oh, no! Oh. oh! Cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? Like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour. Please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful uh, myrtle berries. Cut! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set. Take 26. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle bow. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? Finally, take 27. Ugh! How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gimme! In that fruit fractionator! Somebody cap that cracked crenellator! Bouncing bitter berries! What happened, Barrican Bruce? Uh, Sparkleberry strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Eh, don't worry. Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barrykins! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one! Huh? Are you all right? 
right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, oh, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. Everyone's going to be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world-traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Barricans will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one-girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. You just get settled upstairs and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? <laughs> Very sure. Well, Barrick and Bruce said they'd get it fixed. So I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> Apple, it's me. Thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! <laughs> well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. <laughs> inside the Crystal Crater Caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's amazing that you can do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops, <laughs> I got so excited I forgot to add an off button. But don't worry, the lights will run out of juice on their own. Uh, when will that be? About sunrise? 
skeleton guy. This is dangerous. Ha-ha, I said. I embrace danger. I am Apple Dumpling Girl Adventurer. And so, for all my very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. <laughs> oh, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Yeah! <laughs> well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, there I was. Boarding an avalanche. <laughs> faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... <laughs> wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> now let's see if it works. And... Hup. Call me a smoothie. It works! Widget to ratchet into the berry juice system, and you have a snow making machine. <laughs> oh, no! Come on, everybody! Cooking video take what is it now? 153. Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hot, take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cat, 155. Remember, we need to blend our myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this take is going to be the one. Uh. Again. <sighs> That's just wonderful. Great. What else is going to go wrong? Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. What is it? Another popped grommet? 
No, this is worse. A blowout in a juice cooler. But what could have made that happen? Not what? Who? <gasps> Strawberry? Apple? Can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Oh, Strawberry. I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the Barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus. Faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked, and I, uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff, and I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but... Call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! Strawberry isn't answering. It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. 
We all want you to stay. No one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave. When you know you found the people you wanna stay with and the place you wanna stay. Welcome home. Okay, tell me again what you saw, but slower this time. Okay, so uh, there we were, weren't we? On a routine irrigation check. Bouncing boysenberries. Looks like we got a loose ripple lock. Uh, hey, what's wrong, Earl? Heard something funny, kind of. Uh, what? Uh, I don't hear anything. Uh, uh! Something lollop me. <laughs> so, you see, Miss Strawberry, we definitely have a monster in the berry patch. With seven noses? Yeah. And, and it lollops. <gasps> lollops? Well, Miss Cherry, uh, uh, sort of, uh, kind of... Licks in a slobbery sort of way. Oh, how unbecoming. What's going on, Strawberry? Monster in the berry patch. Scary berries! So, what do we do? I guess we go meet it. Huh? <laughs> don't see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like... Dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs... and... A boy? <gasps> Hello? Uh, oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who... Well, where'd you come from? Very Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. Ed. <laughs> I'm Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. Guests behave. <sighs> You're so lucky to have so many pets. Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well, uh, nobody's. <gasps> so you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile getting dogs adopted? Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. That is quite admirable. Eh, uh, Mr. Huckleberry! Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. All fixed up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry, Cherry, and your friends, too. <sighs> well, I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, 
That's really nice of you, Strawberry. <laughs> Looks like they feel right at home. Well, I hope you do too. Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my guys. before lunch? Oh, uh, could we make it dinner? Uh, is this part of my bedsheet? Oh, Strawberry, I give up. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I fell asleep and they stayed awake. I guess you could say they, uh... Redecorated? It's what pups do. Strawberry, you've been so kind. And then this. I insist on fixing your room. That might take some time. However long it takes, I promise I'll put it back the way it was. That's very honorable of you. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes, then. <gasps> Need some more trash bags? Huh? Nice leashes, Raspberry. Oh, thanks. I kind of thought they were sort of rather stylish in a pinch. Thank you for walking them. It was fun. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking we could each host a dog. That way you wouldn't have to watch over all seven at once. Great idea, Orange. We can each teach our guests some doggy manners. That's so generous of you. Well, they are all so cute. <gasps> <laughs> he slipped out of his leash. Guess I'll host you. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I haven't named them yet, so be my guest. I think I'll call you Biscuit. <laughs> oh! Okay, you are gonna look very, very glamorous. Your fur's a bit too short for a bow. Well, I guess you look just like you did when I met you, which is very glamorous. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and hit your mark right here, see? Okay, now you try, come on, boy. Oh, almost. Try again and you'll get a treat. Oh. The waltz part comes later. <sighs> well, at least you hit your mark. We came to help. You name it, and we'll do it. Ooh, got a pretty chewed up chair here. We'll take it to the shop and give it a good power sanding. Oh, I can do it. I love sanding and, yeah, uh, machine stuff. I really miss carpentering and, uh, you know, machining. <laughs> Huckleberry! 
Blueberry. Oh, hi, uh, Blueberry. Sorry, Plum, didn't mean to interrupt your, uh... It's okay. This is my Lecture Inner Music Move You class. That's my favorite. Moving to musical innards. <laughs> inner music? Yeah, I love that too. You do? That's great. Then join us. Okay, hit me with the beat. Uh, this is move to your inner music. So just close your eyes, get quiet and peaceful. Listen to the harmony of your feelings, the bliss of your brain waves, and then go with it. <gasps> Hi, Huck. Hi, Strawberry. Wow, your pets really like Biscuit. Fit right in from the start. How's my bedroom makeover undo coming along? Oh, great. Just waiting for the Berrykins to build me another chip. I mean, fix. Uh, touch up. Uh, shouldn't be long now. Hold tight. Almost done with these muffins. Hey, can I help? Cooking's my favorite. Muffins are my specialty. That would be a very big help. Can you put these in the oven for me while I finish this batter? Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. Hi. Are you okay, Cherry? It sounded like you were crying. Oh, <laughs> that was him. We were trying to teach Crooner to sing, but it's not coming naturally. <laughs> Singing? Hey, that's my favorite. Sweet. You can take Crooner's part. Very best friend. Oh, uh, just warming up my throat. Huck, why don't you take the next chorus on your own? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, sweet home, where memories are made and berries are grown. Yeah. Home, sweet home, a place you can always call your own. <laughs> Dog can sing. Biscuit, I thought you were staying with Strawberry. He's sure welcome to stay with me and Crooner. So, uh, Huckleberry, why don't we start with some simple notes just to warm up your voice? Uh, think I got a tickle in my throat. I'll catch you later. Okay, feel better. For someone who loves to sing, he sure doesn't love to sing. Hi, Orange. Raspberry, what's the hurry? Hair appointment at Lemon Salon. Can't wait to get the new hairdo, the Curlpatious Crescent Quaff. Oh, yeah. I've been dying to get that one, too. Huh? You? Are you sure? Bring it on. Can't wait. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Do you want a manicure, Poochie? <laughs> Lemon, you are an artist. Oh, I absolutely... Oh, I love it. Something. Can you smell? <laughs> that 
It's okay. Keep going. You're getting warm. Warmer. Ah, ah, cold, cold! What is that? Just me. Huckleberry? What are you doing in there? Hiding. Uh, hiding from what? The whole Berry Bitty world. How come? <laughs> you didn't let Lemon talk you into that, did you? I'm afraid I talked her into it. Kind of like you talked us into letting you join our dance class? Come out of there. All you need is a little water. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have a warm setting on this hose. Oh, okay. Cold! Cold! <laughs> Blueberry, you saved me. Mmm, ginger tea, my favorite. Is it really? Or are you just saying that? I, uh, well, one of my favorites. Why would you say something was your favorite if it isn't? I mean, favorite usually means one only. I guess I thought everyone would, you know, like me better. You've all been so nice to me here, I just wanted to fit in. Aha! I think I'm getting the better of this mystery before it betters me! Hey, that's what Patty Persimmon always says. Patty Persimmon! She's my favorite mystery character! Really? Mine too! Huckleberry, you've got to stop saying you like things just so people will like you. No, really. I like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Okay. Where is Patty Persimmon from? Berry Bitty Glade. But in The Secret of the Feathered Fish, we learned she was really born in Cricket Crossing and then moved to Berry Bitty Glade. You're right. Okay. <laughs> What's her middle name? Middle name, you say? Mm-hmm. Ha! She doesn't have one. <gasps> You're right! Okay, okay. What is her favorite breakfast? In the mystery of the purloined parasol, it was crepes a la mode. Uh-huh. But in the creepy cabinet caper, she discovers she loves persimmon pancakes with pumpkin butter, coconut syrup, and macadamia nuts. That's right! You really do like Patty Persimmon mysteries. Like them? I collect them! I've got them all. All but the latest one, which isn't out yet. It's the Thespian, Thespian Theater, Theater Thriller. Thriller! I have it! You do? But it, it just now, it only just... Oh, how did you get it? You just happened to be looking at a lifetime member of the Patty Persimmon Early Edition Club. Wow. I finished it last night. <sighs> Would you let me borrow it, please? Hey, you can have a copy. Compliment to Blueberry's Bookstore. If you make me a promise, no more pretending everything is your favorite. Give Berry Bitty City a chance to like you for who you are. Then you'll be sure we like the real you. Okay, deal. Hey, I thought you were staying with Lemon. Would you look at that? This dog can track! I think I'll call you Snipper. He fits in everywhere. I wish I had a little of what he has. Biscuit? Ah, hi, Raspberry! Oh, poor little thing. Whenever anyone comes in, she hides. Kind of shy. Hope she'd make a nice guard dog. Let me know when people need help. I don't think Coco likes his sweater. Well, it is kind of thick. And he already has a fur coat. Yeah, don't think he likes it. And he won't sit still for fittings. Hmm. Hey, Howdy! Morning! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Orange, I don't think your dog is shy. I think she's cold. Really? Mm-hmm. And mine is too hot in that sweater. Can I trade on your dog? Absolutely! Great idea, Raspberry. Okay, Strawberry, open them. <gasps> oh, Huckleberry, it looks beautiful. It looks like it did before my dogs got a hold of it. I hope, anyway. It does, it does. Thank you for fixing everything. 
thank you for your hospitality. You are welcome in Berry Bitty City anytime. Really? Uh, after all the trouble I caused? Well, everyone makes mistakes. And don't you know how much we all like you? You do? Of course! We liked you from the start. What you're doing for the pups? I mean, who wouldn't like a person who does something so nice? Where are all the dogs? Um, can we talk to you about that? Would it be possible for me to adopt Henna? Henna? What happened to the Dalmatian? <laughs> Doesn't Cinepup have an incredible voice? And Pitter Patch is a great dancer. Doesn't Chiffon look fabulous? Um, where is Chiffon? Ah! We decided to swap dogs. And perfect matches were made. Isn't that so scouty? <laughs> what do you say, Huckleberry? Of course. Well, I suppose I'll adopt Biscuit. But I haven't seen him for a while. He's kind of a rover. There he is! I'll oh, take you with us! Come here, boy! Come on! Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he didn't stay with any of us. He's been your dog all along. Well, Huckleberry, will you let him adopt you? <laughs> I think Tom Tom already has.